Money Moments on 4, sponsored by Gregory Ricks and Associates, the Total Wealth Authority. In this morning's Money Moment, according to a new report, the total credit debt, credit card debt nationwide hit a record $114 trillion. Can you believe that? In the second quarter of 2024, that's up by about $27 billion compared to just one year ago. It represents nearly 6% increase from year over year. Now, the numbers also show a large number of cardholders can't keep up with their payments. The average credit card rate currently hovers above 24%. If you've been watching your credit card balance, grow recently or maybe if you're one of the many who's unable to keep up with your credit card payments it's important to take steps to get rid of your credit card debt now so here are two possible solutions for you one of the most straightforward approaches to tackling your debt is to start with uh, a dialogue with your credit card issuer. Now, many companies will actually allow you to negotiate with them because they're willing to work with cardholders to find that mutually beneficial solution, like maybe lowering your interest rate or even reducing some of your fees or a debt settlement program might be worth exploring. These programs work by negotiating with your creditors to try and get them to accept a lump sum payment that's less than the full amount that's owed. The remaining amount of your balance is then essentially forgiven. But approach this option with caution because there can be some consequences to having that forgiven. All right, recently, Vice President Kamala Harris named Minnesota Governor Tim Walz as her running mate, sealing the Democratic ticket. We've been telling you about that. Now, the child tax credit is one of Walz's signature accomplishments, according to Walz himself, something the nation could see shaped by the VP pick if they were to win the presidential race. Minnesota's new refundable child tax credit was $1,750 per child in 2023. It is the most generous in the country for low-income families. Expanding the federal child tax credit is bipartisan support, but it could be challenging depending on which party controls Congress. As a key priority for Walls, as he said, Minnesota's child tax credit upgrades were the single biggest line item in his latest supplemental budget. The policy could resurface to support an expanded federal child tax credit. Although experts do say bringing some of the same change at the state level is a lot harder to bring about federally, but something to note. That's your Money Moment on this Thursday morning.